What is up guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the new update just added to Red Dead Online. This week is not as big as the other ones but if you do want to follow along I will leave a link in the description down below where I'm getting all this information from. It's from Rockstar, it's official, it's out and like I said it's not too much of a big one in previous weeks. We had quite a long list. This one isn't too much. It's talk about one new game mode which is called Spoils of War. Spoils of War is like a capture the flag type of event. It says in Spoils of War 2 to 16 players compete in this team based mode to defend their stockpile and raid each others. Each team must steal loot from their opponent's base and return it to theirs whilst defending their own stash. Whichever team steals the most by the end of the match wins. You can take on this new showdown mode across a variety of locations including Fort Mercer and Valentine. So this is a capture the flag type event. You have to go to your opponent's base, go and steal their stash whilst also defending your stash. Pretty self-explanatory. I think that's fairly easy to understand. It's not the most complex mode you'll ever see in any type of game. It is a sort of old-fashioned type game mode, which I think I'm actually really excited for. Like, I didn't think I would be, but uh, with Showdown series, I say it all the time. I am not good at Showdown series. I am terrible at PvP. I, I'm just always bad. I can never kill that many people. Uh, in the game, normally I get around about 10 kills. This one is more of an objective-based game. I can have, like, the worst KD ever, but as long as I keep on getting that stash and running back to my base, I'm all good. And for me, I actually enjoy that type of stuff. I have not played this game mode as of yet, so leave it in the comments down below if you have played this game mode and if you are enjoying it. I do not think, and I, I say this on the whole for Red Dead Online players, this will not last. I just do not think that this is something that will last for quite a while for Red Dead Online. As it's been released, I imagine there's quite a few people hyped for it, but I also imagine couple hours into this update already that there's quite a few people bored of it. It's the exact same with when a gun rush was released. People was hyped for it. I was hyped for it as it was the first game mode ever to be released on Red Dead Online. I was extremely hyped for it and it ended up lasting a couple of days and then I got bored of it and I think this will be the exact same thing. On top of this though we have the added benefits this week of where we'll get 20% extra XP on all showdown mode so I'll definitely be going into showdown series no matter what just to get that extra XP and on top of that if you win one game of a spoils of war match you will earn yourself extra bonus of eight dynamite arrows that you can retrieve from the post office or your camp lockbox so it's definitely worth going into showdown series even if this is not the greatest game mode ever I'm being very skeptical about it right now I think I'll enjoy it but I think most people will not enjoy this and this will not last that long but that's just my opinion let me know in the comments down below of whether or not you are enjoying this mode or whether or not you're just completely done with it already the last thing to talk about with this update is there are a few new clothing items in the shop so you can get seven different clothing items i mean realistically you can't buy all mainly because there's only one that is male only and two that's female only so unless you've got two characters on two separate accounts you cannot buy everything this is something that i haven't looked at currently but i probably will take a look at. Will I buy them? I probably will not buy them, but I do like the idea that Rockstar are updating the stores and that you can buy some stuff. Especially the fact that I think some of this stuff is only here for a limited time. I don't think I'll buy this stuff. I want to save my money right now for the proper big first content update, which will probably be months and months away. But I want to try and earn myself about 5k to go and do that. And once I get over 5k, I'm happy, I'm sorted, that's when I'll start buying clothes and all that. But right now, I need to get on that money grind again and start stacking up. But I do like to see that they're not just throwing out a game mode and then saying, hey, you can play that. I like that there's some other stuff as well, which is some clothing. But like I said, this is not the biggest of updates that we've seen so far. Me personally, I'm not enjoying the drip feed. I, I do not like it. I don't think anyone actually likes it. I wish that all of this just came out all in one update and people can choose of what they want to go and do. With this one, the hype just goes. I, I'm really not a massive fan of how this is going, but this does extend time. So whilst they're just drip feeding this content, this content's already completed, they're working on the next load of content. So I understand why they do it from a business standpoint, but uh, right now, as a player of Red Dead Online, this is so much better. This like, Don't get me wrong, this is so much better than what it was like maybe a month ago where we just wasn't getting anything and it was just daily just different fishing videos in different locations. But this is, it's, it's better, but it's just not that good. Like it's not really living up to the expectation or the hype that it was first promised when 
that first trailer came out. But anyway guys, those are the only two things to talk about for this update of Red Dead Online. I was expecting there to be a fishing free roam event, but I imagine we're gonna go and get that maybe next week or the week after that. But I'm gonna go and try out these game modes right now. I'll probably come up with another video tomorrow explaining what the game mode is, whether or not I like it, whether or not I think it lasts. But right now, on paper, I do like the idea of it. I think it will suit me as a player, but I feel like there's gonna be a lot of people in this community that's already getting bored of it. It. It's just how it goes with game modes. People want the sort of story in Red Dead Online rather than a game mode. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.